Ladies and gentlemen, golfers and non-golfers alike, boys and girls, welcome back to Eli's Golfing Vlogs. And today we're going to talk about three steps to how to stop hooking the golf ball. Also, shout out to my brother's channel, William Mendoza. I'll link his video in the description below. So my name is Eli Mendoza. As you know, this channel is about golf and it is my dream to become the best golfer in the world. So this channel will basically show you the uh, steps how, of how I get there, my progress to becoming the best golfer in the world, hopefully. Okay, let's begin of how, three steps to how to stop hooking the golf ball. Let me put my glove on and show you. Okay, right now I've got my six iron now. And so first we're gonna talk about step number one of how to stop hooking the golf ball. So step number one is basically to weaken your grip. So some people that hook the ball may have a strong grip, like a three knuckle grip or even a four knuckle grip. So uh, that's step one of how to stop hooking the golf ball is to weaken your grip. And so what a strong grip does is basically when you have a strong grip, your hands always want to return to this. If you just do this, put your hands on the club like this, that's how they want to return during impact. So if you have a strong grip, they'll return like this during impact, which will have your face closed. If you have a strong grip, you'll have your face close over and then it'll result in a hook. <clears throat> okay, let's talk about step number two. And step number two, I used to do this before. So I used to do all three of these steps. And so <clears throat> step number two is to basically, if you have an open stance, you'll basically come from the inside and then you'll have to rotate your wrist over and then that'll get to draw or hook the ball. So if you have a closed stance, you'll deliver it too far inside and then once you deliver it too far inside, basically your body compensates by rotating the face over in order to square it. So that's step number two to not aim, not aim right of your target. Again, that's something I used to do and that basically causes you to roll the wrist over. And so last step, but certainly not least, is to put the ball, uh, about an inch forward in your stance. So <clears throat> this helped me a lot, this tip. When I put the ball one inch forward in my stance, the club path basically went a little left. So imagine this is a club path here. It's going here, closing and squaring at one point and then closing over. If I have the ball too far, I come, I, I go through the uh, inside out path. And when I do that, tendencies is to roll the face over. So if I'm coming here, if I'm, my, club, uh, my club path still going that way, I'll tend to uh, rotate the wrist very aggressively or releasing the wrist very aggressively. If I have the ball too far back in my stance, but don't put it too far forward in your stance or you'll basically uh, hit the ground before you can get to the ball. So that's step number three of how to stop hooking the golf ball. <clears throat> Those were the three steps. I also forgot to mention in last video that, uh, <clears throat> so three uh, steps to how to stop slicing the golf ball is to not put it too far forward in your stance or you'll be going left. Well, that wraps up the three steps. Summary of today was to weaken your grip. Uh, uh, don't aim right of the intended target path, target. And then third is to put the ball just a little bit forward in your stance. Plus bonus tip number four is uh, if you don't rotate your body enough, the hands will get ahead and do this. So you need to rotate your body through in order if uh, in order to square the club face or if you stall your body what's left is of the momentum is the hands and arms so if i stall my body 
How am I going to hit the golf ball? With my hands and arms. So that's step number four, to keep rotating through the target. You'll hit it farther. If you rotate, you'll get more shackling. If you rotate, but don't spin out too early. So those are all the four tips of how to stop slicing a golf ball. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and share it with your golfing buddies. I'll link my brother's description of my brother's YouTube channel in the description below, William Mendoza. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, remember to golf. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I also forgot to mention my other brother's channel, Arthur Mendoza. I will link his video in the description. Please subscribe to his channel and have a great day.